Hey guys, so it's at 5 a.m. in the morning again and I'm making videos. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the meta breakdown for Modern and more specifically the top 10 decks in Modern right now, where I see them, uh, where I see the prices going, uh, which decks you should buy. I'll always leave a comment below if you have specific questions that are not answered via this video. So the meta breakdown, Affinity is the only deck in double digits. Uh, Affinity makes up 13% of the meta. Jun makes up 8%. I'm really happy to see Affinity um, because Affinity used to be one of the cheaper decks. Then you had Glimmer Void, you have a ton of cards like Arcbound, and they're all going up in price because the deck is seeing more and more play, but you could have got it for a lot cheaper. Glimmer Void, uh, Blink Moth, Ink Moth, um, a lot of the pieces of it were relatively cheap about a year ago. So it's one of those type of decks that the next time they start reprinting stuff, which they will, uh, jump on it because Affinity will always be a tier one deck in modern outside of them banning like a very important card. So Affinity is 13%, Jun is 8%. Jun I love as a concept. Jun is trying to get incremental value from you. Is it Liliana the Veil, Huntmaster, I've seen some Olivia's pop up in my locals. Between Jun being 8% and Affinity being 13%, you're going to play one of those two decks at least in a local environment or even a bigger event. Uh, those decks are going to be well represented. Amulet Bloom is surprisingly Amulet Bloom, Burn, and Blue Red Twin. They're next, so they are all at 6%. So when you combine Affinity, John, Amulet, Bloom, Burn, Twin, that's 18 plus 21, you have about 39%, very close to 40% of the meta just being between those five decks. So Amulet, Bloom, a very combo-esque deck, uh, 6%. Burn, probably one of the cheaper builds, is also at 6%. And then you are Twin, one of the more expensive builds, is at 6% of the meta. So those are the top five decks. Uh, once you go down to five, six through ten, it becomes less clear if these decks are going to still be tier one. Uh, you have Infect at five percent. Infect is a cheaper build. I definitely recommend you guys building that if you're just getting into modern. Very fun type of deck. Uh, Scape Shift. I haven't seen any of that those around my locals. Uh, leave a comment below if you play the deck. I don't really know how the deck does compared to like a Jun or Affinity. Affinity and Jun are very well, I mean they've been tier one decks one and two for a long time. Amulet Bloom is kind of new, relatively new. So then you Infect at six, you have Scape Shift at seven, Grixis Control. Uh, this would be when you're playing Kogan's Commands, you're playing all types, uh, well I mean you play everything that you would play in blue. You just have the ability to play the black and the red as well. So you're going to grab removal. I think Grixis, Grixis Control also plays Bobs. I think that's the only deck in top 10 that does play Bob. So then you have Grixis Twin, which is a take on Splinter Twin, the original, where again, you're getting value. Kogang's Command is a lot of value right now. It's seeing a ton of play in my locals. I believe the difference, uh, the main difference in Grixis Twin is the Kogan Command. Kogan's Command against Affinity is a blowout. Two damage and destroy target artifact. It's always a two for one at instant speed against that deck. And then you have Absent. Absent used to be one of the best decks. And Absent, it looks like Absent's fallen quite a bit. So Grixis tw Twin, Absent, Grixis Control, Scape Shift. Uh, they make up the bottom six of them. They make up from seven, eight, nine, and ten, and they all have three percent. Uh, the when I look at Absin, I think it's pretty good. I, I Rhino is very good. I just don't know if it has the ability to compete against Jun. I think Jun beats Absin most games, and that's why you're seeing a resurrection of Jun. Uh, again, Jun is a very easy concept. Try to two for one your opponent every t single time. And Kolgan's Command is very good for Jun. I mean, Kolgan's Command has been dominating the meta in my local modern play groups, and I don't see it stopping because it's so good against the number one, the most heavily played deck, Affinity. So we got Affinity at one, Jun at two, Amulet Bloom at three, Burn at four, 
you are twin at five, infect at six, scape shift, Grixis control, Grixis twin, Abzin, um, they, they are tied for seven, eight, nine, and ten. So very interesting, Modern, uh, do you play a deck on this list? How does it do? Do you want to buy a deck on this list? I definitely recommend Burn and Infect as the two starting points. Uh, Ink Moth Nexus being the one very large barrier to Infect. And it's a cheap way to play a very good deck. Uh, and that's always, honestly, you don't want to play a bad deck in Modern, right? I mean, the whole point is to, you want to optimize your deck. So those are the top 10 decks. Leave me a comment below if you feel like I left the deck out. You felt like a deck was not uh, properly represented by the percentages that you see at your locos. Bye, guys.